Tesla is in the news again. It's time for the unveiling of a house that costs less far less than the sedan Model 3 car Elon Musk has just unveiled Tesla's new 15,000 tiny house 2.0 for sustainable living. You heard that right. How is Tesla's new home? Did the quality of the house match that of the Tesla cars? Welcome to this video today. Or we will explore Tesla's new $15,000 tiny house for sustainable living. Elon the Tesla and SpaceX CEO is the first billionaire to champion and pioneer an insanely cheap and affordable home for sustainable living. But this sounds inconsistent with what is expected of a billionaire of that status. Of Elon Musk, yes, this man is a different creatural. And together, what is Tesla's next large item individual has been speculating for some time now? And indeed, Elon's basket has never been empty for some time now. Tesla has been effective in putting up electric vehicles for sale to the public. In 2013, they sold three 100 Roadsters with a beginning cost of $109,000. Recently, they started creation of a new Model S vehicle at a production line in their company in San Francisco. But now, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk is considering the prospects of hushing his progress in building electric vehicles so that he can switch to a seemingly recent favored project the construction of a modest, affordable home, project that could prove to be the revolution of the future housing, real estate sectors. March of 2014, Tesla reported its procurement of Solar City for $2.6 billion, and on April 30th, it revealed its new sun based energy item, the Power Wall. So, what is the billionaire up to? Where does he want to use all these solar energy panels? There's a clue. Musk gets something about a house. He lives in to be 100 clean energy. It's not one lavish home you would expect from a tycoon of his type. No, on Twitter, Musk confirmed a surprising move to a $50,000. Lone Star stayed in Boca Chica, Texas since he made public his intentions of downsizing his life who went on to sell all his seven California Cyber homes between be June 2020 use this and November 12, 2021. The, the Tesla CEO sold the properties for, for about $128 million, making the profit of around $25 million well according to Business of Insider Musk reports. His epic decluttering spree concluded with the sale of his 47-acre Silicon Valley Gwincourt estate for $30 million, 16,000 square foot. Today's episode of Tesla Car World, Citizens welcome back to our channel, Retreat we begin, let's get started with today's content Had both Tesla's seven bedrooms, seven baths, grand ballroom, and a fancy cocktail bar with retractable library shelves. So how does Elin give up on such a property for a tiny boxable casita? It's kind of awesome. The must said revealing a man who doesn't even appear to regret the tiny box his house now serves as the primary residence for the Tesla boss. The billionaire who has issued mega mansions. This modular home is the flagship product from a startup company, boxable out of Los Angeles, and is called the Casita Galino Trami. The head of business development at Boxable says that they have spent the last several years doing research and development, have engineered a breakthrough solution to rapidly build high quality affordable housing and this has well pleased the Tesla boss. In fact, the company has already two such houses near Starbase area, the Tesla headquarters. Despite its small size and low price, it's not cheap in terms of quality. The units are made from steel, concrete, and EPS foam building materials that once a grade and will last a lifetime. The walls, floor, and roof are structurally laminated with panels that the company says are much stronger than the average building. Elon Musk announced the first implantation of a neural link chip in the human brain. Honda unveiled a new humanoid robot. The police in America were allowed to use killer robots, and scientists proved the possibility of traveling through the universe with a wormhole. These and other high-tech news items for the week are discussed in today's episode. Let's get started. Elon Musk quietly held an event dedicated to the updates of the Darlink project. According to him, the technology has more than successfully shown itself on animals and is already fully ready for testing on humans. As soon as the company receives the appropriate regulatory approval, the chip will be implanted into the first human volunteer. Last year, the company released a video showing a monkey playing ping pong on a computer in this way now. These test subjects have literally learned to talk by typing rehearsed phrases on the screen, for example, welcome to show. Tell another video shows monkeys being trained to charge devices while sitting under a wireless charger. Later in the presentation, the Neuralink researchers showed a pig on a treadmill, which they said helped them study how to solve mobility problems in humans. The Neuralink devices themselves are small, with several flexible strands to connect the device to the brain in about 15 minutes. 64 of these strands can be implanted in the brain using a robotic system that performs the operation as quickly and accurately as possible, 
taking into account the natural movement of the brain. Musk has promised to insert the chip himself at some point in the future as well as ensure that the device itself can be easily updated. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want an iPhone 1 in your head if an iPhone 14 was available. Musk recently said San Francisco police had the green light to use remotely controlled robots to kill suspects. The city's board of supervisors approved a controversial policy that allows police robots to be used as lethal force options when the risk of death to members of the public or officers is imminent and outweighs any other available force option. The department's robots can now be equipped with explosives to engage, incapacitate, or disorient an armed or dangerous suspect in extreme circumstances to save or prevent further loss of innocent life. The department currently owns 17 robots, 12 of which are operational. The machines can be roughly divided into two categories, large and medium-sized track robots used for remote exploration or explosive detonation such as the Romotech F6 and Kintech Talon, and smaller robots designed to be dropped into target areas for reconnaissance and surveillance such as the First Look and Recon Robotics Robot. All robots are designed primarily for human control and have limited autonomous functionality. Police departments in the U have already used remote control robots to kill suspects. The first incident is believed to have occurred in 2016 when Dallas police used a bomb disarming robot to kill a sniper who shot and killed five officers at a rally. At the time, some praised the action for quickly ending the hours-long standoff while other citizens criticized it for actually allowing police to execute a suspect without exhausting all other possible options. Alternatives to proponents of the use of killer robots emphasize that it keeps ordinary citizens and police officers alive while avoiding bias such as skin color. Opponents argue that the practice is unacceptable because it involves targeted killing without trial. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. For in Honda, which recently shut down its Azimo project, has unveiled its new development, the Avatar Robot, which is a machine that's supposed to help people improve the quality of their daily lives and expand their potential. According to the company's website, Honda wants to create a society in which everyone, no matter how far away they are, can do whatever they want without having to be on the spot in person. The robot is equipped with humanoid arms and five-fingered grips that people can intuitively control to use tools designed for humans. With a headset and haptic gloves, the robot operator can see here and feel the objects the robot interacts with. This can allow the technician to perform operations, repair equipment, provide first aid, or work in disaster areas, including life-threatening areas. Without the need for a physical presence, a demo version of the technology is due to be presented by the company in fiscal year 2023.